Promo Palace LLC Vlog 4. This one's titled The Illusions of Playlists. Alright, um, for those that don't know, my name is Paul Pickett. Um, Promo Palace LLC, which is uh, promopalace.biz is our domain. Also on Indie Castle. Check us out at indiecastle.net. Also on Planet Playlists at planetplaylist.com. Um, radio tour promotion.com um, you know a few blogs a few other sites as well but enough with me this one right here is about um, the illusion of uh, playlists um, and this one I basically want to get into you know like when, when streaming first got real real popular and everybody really caught on to it you know, like worldwide and, and the royalty payouts of like Spotify and Apple and Tidal and Google Play and Deezer and Amazon and whatnot, you know, everybody just started running to the floodgates of like, you know, trying to buy up Spotify plays or playlist pitching or playlist ads or, or whatever it may be. But, um, after a while, one thing I realized is that um, Spotify really, for up and coming and, and unsigned or independent artists, if, if you don't have fan base, Spotify is really the same as FM radio, like the mindset of it. Because, um, you know, unless you have like a major feature on your record, or you're just making the greatest music in the world. Um, you're not going to really get picked up on the big Spotify playlist, you know. Um, they want you to pre-release it, you know, weeks ahead, and a lot of artists really don't follow that um, process or that method. They don't pre-release their music ahead of time far enough because the thing is you got to understand if a, a company like me is getting hundreds of submissions per day, Spotify's getting thousands. And to think anybody has any time, you know, all the time in the world in 24 hours to go through thousands of submissions within 24 hours, it, it's not happening. I don't care how many employees they got. You know, it's it's just no time in the day to you for you to go through thousands, more or less for me to go through hundreds and still be able to make a living, you know. Like, I can't listen to music all day because I still have to work. I still have to do promotion you know I still have to market and advertise and, and listen to music all day isn't paying the bills even radio they don't have time to just listen to submissions all day because if they're listening to submissions all day do they have no time to broadcast you know and, and the radio station's job is to broadcast music not listen you know so Spotify is no different than FM radio as far as just you know putting on unsigned and, and independent artists and unless you're getting on Spotify's big playlist the next tier of playlists underneath that is the playlist that the major labels own and major labels are not just opening up the floodgates for unsigned and independent artists unless you're actually signed to the label so then you get to a tier below that which is the, the independent playlist as we call them but with those playlists, nine times out of ten, the playlist has fake followers, or they might actually have real followers, and they've lost engagement. They have no listeners. You know, like that's the thing. Just because a playlist has a ton of followers doesn't mean it has a ton of listeners. Because in the business world, you know, typically only, you know, two to three percent of your followers are engaging, you know. So if you have a million followers, you can pretty much calculate that roughly about 20 to 30,000 of them, you know, are listening. You know, so don't think just because somebody's got a ton of followers, they got a ton of listeners. It doesn't work that way. Because people could have followed them long time ago and they're not even engaging no, no more. Or... They bought followers, and it has no listeners whatsoever. So then you got the playlist under that, which is just like 
the average person creates a playlist that's not really concerned with getting followers, you know, and they just add your music to the playlist and they stream their playlist, you know, whenever they stream their playlist, 24-7, however they're doing it, you know, while they're at work, before they're at work, after work, you know, it, it doesn't matter. But those are the playlists you typically want to get on, the ones that really... The average person just adds add your music to a playlist that doesn't really have no followers. Their own personal playlist that they stream. Because once you get into the world of, oh, how many followers does it got? Once again, the independent playlists could have bought followers. Or they could have followed a long time ago and they got no more engagement on the playlist. That they don't listen to it no more. And just because somebody follows something doesn't mean they're going to engage in the first place. It's easy for somebody to click the follow button but when you're trying to get them to do all these other things you know the more actions you ask out of them the more you ask it you know what I'm saying and then once like we said we get into the label playlist unless you sign with the label they're not letting you through the door and then you get through Spotify's major playlist even if even some of their playlists could have 2 million followers and you only get 20,000 listeners so that goes to show you that a ton of people followed it, but didn't really go back to listen to it or didn't really engage because it's so quick and easy for somebody to just click the follow button. And to get on those playlists, you got to pre-release your music, you know, like four to five weeks ahead of time and submit to their editorials. And you either be never better have like super great music, super great music, or a mainstream feature that's already getting added to the playlists you know, on Spotify, because past that, it's the FM radio mindset, you know, when I open up the doors for every unsigned and independent artist that makes music, because, I mean, you know, like, in the music business world, you have to play mainstream music, your, your, your radio station, your playlist needs to be dominated with mainstream music, because unsigned and independent artists don't have the same amount of fan base and some have no fans if you have no fan base it's like fm radio you know if you're not bringing listeners to fm radio why should they play your song over and over and over again you're not bringing listeners you're not bringing fans if i book you for a show if you can't bring fans to the door why would i pay you for a show you are not bringing nothing to the table if your name alone does not bring fans, listeners, you know, and that's how it works. It's just because you make great music doesn't mean we open up the floodgates for you. We want to see other things. Are you working? You make great music, but are you working? Are you promoting me on Instagram? Are you advertising on Facebook? Advertising on Twitter? Advertising on YouTube? You know, are you doing influencer marketing on Instagram? on TikTok, on Twitter? Are, are you doing anything past making music? Because just making music doesn't open up the floodgates. Because if that was the case, Spotify would be adding every unsigned artist that thinks they make great music to the playlist. And it doesn't work that way. You got to make super great music or you got to have mainstream features. You know, and yeah, playlisting, it, it gives you some royalties and it gives you, you know, some revenue, you know, brings back some revenue. But playlisting isn't the place to really build a fan base because you'll still have to take your Spotify link to Instagram and promote it there. And take it to Facebook and take it to Twitter and take it to the blogs and take it everywhere else to build that fan base. Because social media is really where it's at to build a fan base. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Spotify. I mean, you could get some fans, but if you're looking to get a ton of fans and make a ton of money, unless you got mainstream features or you're just the greatest artist on the planet and they're throwing you on all the biggest playlists, and I mean all of them for, for a hot minute, it's just you're not going to get what you think out of it. You know, it's not, it, that once again, it's the illusion of playlisting. It's not what we thought it was. It's cool, but we still got to work YouTube, which is more powerful. We still got to work TikTok, which is coming up, passing. 
Spotify. You still got to work your Facebook fan page and build that up. You still got to work your Instagram. If you got a Twitter, you still got to work that. You know, if, if you're on Pinterest, you got to work Pinterest. You know, you still got to work across the board. So just focusing on, hey, I'm just trying to get streaming royalties. That's cool, but you'll never build fans if your goal is to just try to get streaming royalties. If your goal is to just make money from the start, then you're never going to build fans. Because you build fans first, and then you make money. You build consumer base first, and then you give make money. It, it's like the, the person in the grocery store. You see the lady in the grocery store giving out free samples. They're giving you out a free sample first to, to see if you even like it or, or get you hooked or make you like it and then go buy it. So we, we can't, we don't buy something before we like it. That doesn't work in the consumer world. And if we do buy it and we don't like it the first time, we ain't buying it again. That's it. We done. You done. It's over with. We ain't like it the first time. We done. So we like to like things before we buy it. You know? And that's how it works. But the illusion of playlisting, yeah, just don't focus solely on playlisting. That's cool. Still put a budget to playlisting, you know, but it's better to just try to get on as many free playlists as you can because nine times out of ten, if you do email somebody about getting on a playlist, they charge it. They charge it. And you're not supposed to be charging, but they are. So... You know, I you know I don't know what to say. I mean, if that I don't make up the rules, you know. But that's how that's how it goes. You know, whether it's right or wrong, I just know what's going on out there. If you hit people up nine times out of ten about get out of play on a playlist, they're gonna tell you they're charging, or we're taking donations, which is the same thing as charging. Or we we decided. We're, we're taking a fee to support, which is the same thing as charging. It ain't support, you know, period. So delusions of playlisting is don't get caught up in the hype of you should just put all your money into playlisting because you st should still put more money into YouTube marketing, you know, advertising. You should still put more money into TikTok influencer marketing, in my opinion. You should still put money into Facebook you know, you should still put money into Instagram and, and, you know, other platforms. You should still advertise your website, whatever it may be, you know, your Shopify link, whatever it is, your business, your brand, your music, you should still advertise across the board. Once again, this was Promo Palace Vlog 4. Um... Please bear with me on these vlogs. Um, you know, I'm new to this. I'm trying to keep it real and as authentic as possible. No sugar coating. Um, no trying to edit, you know, mess ups. If I, you know, mess up while I'm speaking or whatnot. You know, we're just going to keep it moving, keep it rolling. You know, um, just trying to get that information out there. You know, honest information, you know, because... Don't believe the hype, man. You know, playlist is cool, but we got to promote across the board, no matter who you are, what kind of business or brand. Once again, Promo Palace LLC, vlog for, for the illusion of playlist. And check us out, promopalace.biz, indiecastle.net, planetplaylist.com, radiotourpromotion.com. Shouts out to... My dudes in the West Coast, the school tour, right now school's out, so the school tour is kind of, you know, we are holding until next season, but shout out to my dudes uh, from the school tour, check them out, theschooltour.com, out there in Southern California, for those that don't know, and you can email us at promopalace1 at gmail.com, that's promopalace, the number one, at gmail.com, anytime you have any questions about this vlog, other vlogs, or just, you know, music promotion, marketing, or the music industry in general. Once again, I'm Paul Pickett, Promo Palace LLC, vlog for the illusion of playlisting, and I'm not.